x squared plus ax plus b equals zero has real roots. And then the sum of the squares of the roots of the first equation is equal to the sum of the squares of the roots of the second one. So let's get the roots. I'm going to use a quadratic formula for this. x is going to equal minus a plus or minus a squared minus 4b square rooted all divided by 2a, so just divide by 2. And then if I square them, I'm going to get minus a plus root a squared minus 4b over 2 all squared. And that is going to equal, okay, I can bring the, I can divide by 2, bring that out. It's going to be a quarter a squared. And then when I times this by itself, I'm going to get a squared minus 4b. And then I'm going to get a root, aren't I? It's going to be minus 2 times a times root a squared minus 4b. And when I square the other one, it's going to be minus a minus root a squared minus 4b, all divided by 4. Remember, I'm adding these. Sorry, I haven't squared it yet, so it's still divided by 2. I'm going to get a quarter again when I square it. I square the half. And then again, a squared plus a squared minus 4b. This time, it's going to be plus 2a root a squared minus 4b. And when I add these together, because I've got a minus and a plus, these are simply going to cancel out. So I'm going to bring it together under the bracket. I've got a quarter. It's going to be 2a squared minus 4b plus another 2a squared minus 4b, which is 4a squared minus 8b a squared minus 2b. Okay, so the sum of the squares turned out to be something quite simple. Right, now I'm going to take the second equation. Remember, we're told that they're equal, so a squared plus bx plus a. Sorry, x, sorry, x squared plus bx plus a equals zero. Um, sum of the squares, sum of squares, of roots. Right, I can use the symmetry of the problem here. This is exactly the same equation, but a and b have been interchanged. And so it's simply going to be b squared minus 2a. Don't need to do all that again. And remember, we're told they're equal. We're told that a is not equal to b. And then we're asked for this thing here. I'll come back to that in a minute. Let's set them equal to one another. a squared minus 2b is equal to b squared minus 2a. I can rearrange this. So it's a squared minus b squared. And the reason I do that is that I can factorize this. This is a difference of two squares now. And then it's going to be minus 2a minus b. Okay, I can plus 2b to both sides, but actually it's I can factorize out the minus 2. It's going to be this. Then a minus b, a plus b is equal to minus 2, a minus b. And because a is not equal to b, we're told that I can divide through by this. And therefore, a plus b is equal to minus 2. And the final answer, we've got 500 plus 10 times a plus b. So it's going to be 10 times minus 2, minus 20. Our answer is 480.